Hey, morning, folks. Um, I had a bit. I've already made a recording early on, and it's like the yeah, audio isn't coming through. So here we go again. Happy, happy Tuesday. Hope everyone's doing all right out there. Uh, a couple of things to just uh, keep in mind going to today's session. We do have the NFP on Friday, um, so a lot of what's happening right now in terms of price action is kind of sort, in a way, based. Uh, on that and we do have OPEC plus which I've mentioned yesterday um, in terms of crude prices and which is what we're seeing over here so this relief over in crude um, holding above this prior inflection about 82 82s um, trading really close to 84 bucks right now so that is about two dollars from this um, uh, potential baseline that we might be looking to hold if not there then it's pr probably this 8117 so 81 handle there and thereabouts but i do like the idea of this supportive trend line over here holding so if you do get a test maybe a, a a quick run through hold this support over here and then go back up uh, i would like to see that that would be a pretty nice long and it shows that buyers are committed to the buying over here before going to then test this uh the next port call i reckon about 84 26 is before we try we test this 85 level and uh, you know the high much higher levels do i think we'll get to test 85 bucks this week to be fair i do all right the mood is there so the dixie is turning back around just like today's uh morning read you know just breathing a sigh of relief we've broken through the 112s hold below close below and then continue on over here so for the time being it does look like the dollar wants to take a a bit of a breather over here before testing 111s and then uh, 110s down below but the big big level would be i'm not sure why this is here but this was okay number one this was a prior high this was a prior high right so this has been tested once over here this bad boy tested once over here but we do see this area over here from 110s to 108s there and thereabouts to be kind of a um if you try and get long but around 109s you are pretty much you know getting long in no man's land and your stop will probably be like below here you know um so this is what i like to use as you know as a correlative tool to see where i think you know certain assets are going to go or you know, I, if I think if I wanted to get long spoos right now on the break of this prior resistance area from last week, do I feel safe to do that? Uh, technically, first glance, not so much. But if this goes, if this has a lot of room to travel before we test one tens for seventy sevens, yeah. For a, you know, for a short while, we do have this uh, view up over here. I'm not going to bring up view up right now, but so that's one level to get tested. 37.50, 122s so over there. I'll just mark this over here. Right, very decent technicals, very clear resistance levels. So we're short from here. Warranted. Why do I say it's warranted? Is because this is, an, you know, I I just don't think if you lit. If you read the uh, news flow, you know, it's not all hunky dory. So what's happening with Credit Suisse, if you do want to know what's happening with Credit Suisse, send me up on Discord or anything. Um, we can, I can, you know, give a much clearer answer to Credit Suisse. And then you also have, um, so today I read Meta is closing a New York office and already saying that there are more cutbacks, you know, looming. And it's like, Things are not hunky dory. There is a massive transition that's been that's that's happening in the background, and that is happening right now as we speak. You know, on a global scale, because of the um, global tightening series that we we have been seeing, which is not going to stop anytime soon. You know, even the Fed's already reinstated the fact that okay, into uh, Q1 next year, no 
we are not having any cuts. Uh, chances are we will be re continuing with raising rates and then potentially just letting things stabilize there after so do am i fancying the short i am more on the short side but i do want to uh sort of like pin the fact that understandably this is these will kind of happen from time to time in these kinds of market with you know where people are worried about earnings outlook recession you know seriously high inflation um, relief rallies happen because everyone's trying to pile on that short and then the moment that there's a value by big institutions you know robots or whatever you know buying these contracts up and then some people get caught off side and then you have to turn to basically break break even i mean m market mechanics is a whole other thing and we can talk about that some other time so in terms of uh, the day ahead a decent shorts to be had if this breaks i want to see it hold above before getting on that long to try and test 3800s and then 3850s uh and then from there on uh you know just to keep those things in mind so the rba today you know they said that they weren't going to continue raising rates as high and as fast and they kept to their word but markets were surprised so the aussie dollar took quite a hit today but you know it kind of tells it's a good thing for the rba because then you know when i we say something we will do it so uh in terms of like using communication as a tool to manage monetary policy you know they have that in pocket so to speak um that is it for me today really uh any questions at all just hit me up in discord again we have a sleuth so we have a slew of speakers today like fed speakers like a couple of them so williams logan mester we do also we also have lagarde speaking at four o'clock uh london time before we close out with uh Fed's jefferson and then the uh, only tier one data is the jolts numbers jobs job openings numbers at three o'clock gmt so this all these data sets from uh, the us will be you know sort of like a drip through on route to nfp so traders there might be a, a slight a you know anything that's out of place there might be a slight jolt in uh, equities um in accordance with how markets will try and see what the dollar how the dollar is going to be priced uh into the week and into the month and into the year pretty much so forward looking uh keep your wrists tight because we do have a lot of high basically quality uh tier data incoming for the week and the month all right, that is it for me today. Sri bringing you today's daily briefing. Be safe out there, and I'll catch you guys in the Discord room. Cheers.